What's up Aries, this is your highest possible messages for the rest of October 2020 and or when you come across this. Holler at your boy for a one-on-one -on -one reading. All my info is on my website link below. Okay, so we've got the Five of Pentacles in reverse. This energy is Taurus energy, speaks to feeling casted out. Um, the main advice with this card is going within the church of self. Time to meditate, giving the self emotional solace and refuge, um, reconnecting with the divine feminine, the divine masculine, the divine infant vulnerable child self, um, giving yourself, allowing yourself rather that inner peace and emotional solace that you can't get from anywhere else. Okay, you could be dealing with emotional manipulation in the vicinity. Or you could be beating yourself up. Libra Scorpio energy with that King of Cups in the reverse. Could be some emotional dependency as well. Again, that cup wanted to pop out, or excuse me, that card wanted to pop out again. <clears throat> Spirit 11 Light, highest possible messages for Aries. The word freedom is coming to mind. So you could be focusing on that. Channeling that, seeking that. It's almost as if that, with that Seven of Cups in reverse that I just flashed on the screen, when you remove these options or these layers or these false availabilities, and you just zero out or, or, or kind of cut out the distractions, is when you find more peace and solace internally. I'm getting to do things in a meditative state, whether it be like running long distance or, pardon, this card. Yeah, you got the lover's card in reverse here, so it could be connecting with a soulmate. There's death, there's, there's quick death to one situation. And someone's better off for it. So there could be, again, jealousy in the vicinity. Almost as if you're just biding your time. Again, as I said in the All Signs General read, you know, waiting for the election or waiting for the end of this year or waiting for a move or a new job or something of that nature. That offer will come in. It's going to be a concrete offer. It could be a new job, something out of the blue. Let's see what we got here. Okay, coming out of a third party situation that was causing a lot of heartbreak. Try not to let the thought of things or undertakings exhaust you and wear you out more so than the actual doing of said things. Sometimes it's a habit that you could fall into where the thought of it kind of exhausts you and wears you out psychically versus actually just doing it. Okay, this is going to help in your manifestation powers. Obviously, there's a time and a place for everything. In which case, if you're not going to do anything about it, then there's no sense in thinking about it or worrying about it. All that does is detract from from your manifestation skills in the direction in which you are fo focusing. So, let's see what we got. Okay, Ten of Cups in the reverse. You're almost there. You're right there at the brink of like that matrimony or harmony or bliss or where you want to be emotionally with your significant other possibly or a group of people. Again, more with the biting of the time, waiting, coming out of conflict and pettiness. 
This has been going on for a while though, this, this, this message. It's, it's been almost all year being advised. But, especially with all these retrograde aspects, it just seems as if that there's just so much that you have to tie up in some way, shape, or form, or balance. Yeah, coming out of a karmic connection. Emotional manipulation, bullying, all that stuff. Uh, intimidation, isolation, ig ignoring, things like that. But you're no victim, you're just, you're not gonna pander. I heard like Ponzi scheme, you're not gonna deal with people that aren't on the up and up false legacy or a false structure or dynamic, family dynamic. You're not gonna, you rather endure the, the isolationism aspect of it than pander or try to fall in line. So that's what I'm getting. There you go. And when you stick to your guns, that's when you get the, the real deal here with this Ten of Cups. True harmony. True happiness. You're on a boat. And wish fulfillment here. It's funny because paradoxically, you know, the urge is to want to say that, you know, it takes grit and it takes toughness and. For me, really, truly, I think it just more so takes perspective and giving yourself space. You know, depending on what you're waiting on, if it is something in the books, in the works, physically concrete, you know, time-based that you are waiting on, it could be heaven or it could be hell, you know, you decide. But you got to allow yourself that bliss and enjoyment here and now, is what I'm getting at. as opposed to putting it off. So, I feel like the ego wants to construct all these reasons to not feel relief or pleasure, or peace or patience right here and right now. But that's all false. With that Virgo card and Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, um, you could be in some sort of financially dependent situation part of some sort of financially dependent situation. But you're creating, I think, your own freedom and your own independence. That magician's card. You got the hot hand. For a lot of you, I'm getting the sense that you're starting to believe in yourself and trusting in yourself. And I think maybe that's what's been holding you back. Yeah, and this is that belief and that that belief and that trust in self is going to get you in your power, your emperor energy here, standing on your throne, sitting in your throne, and just completely unfettered and, and unbothered. Um, yeah, so that trust and, and belief in the self is going to work wonders. Like, none of it matters, like, in the past anyways, like, what's done is done. But if you have anything compromising, you know, your decision-making skills or judgment, then you just gotta nip it, you gotta nix it, and you just gotta cut it away. You just gotta kill that, you gotta kill that self-doubt and worrying. And I think that's what that hanged man position is about. Hangman card. It's like a sense of like letting go. So you can let your like creative 
dream-like elements or essences flow more. And I think that helps in creating your reality. Whereas when you hold on, then you're kind of stagnating yourself. You might want to partake in activities where you could kind of flow with it. Yeah. This is a divine concoction, time and space, elixir. It could be a literal elixir or drink. It could be a ritual. It also, the temperance card also refers to the middle path and purpose. Um, there's probably a lack of understanding for why things are playing out the way they are right now, but I get the sense that in time, there will be a better understanding. And I'm getting that, again, this is wish fulfillment, so what you're going through and what you're having to experience is, it pales into comparison for, for you know, what it's worth and what the outcome is gonna be. Um, it's going to be well worth the wait. Like this is just is just like breadcrumbs compared to like what you have to look forward to. It's almost as if like the divine is like laughing and just saying like if you knew what was going on, if you knew what I had in store for you, then, and that's what I'm saying, it's like you're going to have to do the work to give yourself that perspective. You're gonna have to zoom out and give yourself so much room and space to dream and create mentally with the vision. You're gonna have to give yourself so much space for that perspective. It's like, yeah, getting that your future is really bright. But you have to not only hang in there, like we're out of like survival mode. We're not doing that anymore. We're doing the thrive. We're in thrival mode, is what I'm getting. So, and this is kind of hesitance and reticence to leave that survival mode. It's almost like a, it could be an addictive way of thinking or behaving or a low level vibratory aspect that you've kind of personified or identified with. But you gotta understand that you probably kind of took to that. So as to protect yourself, but you don't need to do that anymore. Because you're playing at higher realms and higher levels now. So. You're gonna really have to zoom out and uh, let go of that survival type way of feeling and, and living and looking at things. And really truly just give yourself the space. And the time. It takes time for everything, but nowadays we want everything so fast, so fast, so fast. Yeah, and Spirit is saying it's putting the kibosh on that. It's putting the kibosh on what you think your timeline is for what you want or deserve. It's not going to be on your time, so you might as well enjoy it. Okay, this is marriage, this is wedding, public celebration. So you have a lot coming down the pipeline. You have a lot in store for you. But again, you have to kind of give space and zoom out and give perspective to, to what it is it's saying that you have to like go, 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 put your you know foot on the pedal to the metal, you know? Because I think that's what's kind of killing you as opposed to being open, open-ended and, and open to different timelines. And then again, you got more of the hanged man position. It's kind of like a Chinese finger trap. Like the, the tighter you try to hold on to it or control it, the more you stagnate yourself versus if you kind of open up and let things bloom and blossom internally first and foremost and be more flexible with the time frame. You could do a lot with time. You could dilate time give it space then things bloom and grow almost instantly which is kind of paradoxical but try it out all right 15 
minutes is my limit. Holler at your boy for a one-on-one. -on -one. Peace.